Hey guys, it's Corey, and I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to set up a staging or test environment in WordPress on A2 hosting. So if you've used WordPress for any period of time, you've certainly ran across an instance where you want to test something, but not on your live site. You want to see how it does in a development staging area before you actually apply it on your live site. And there's other plugins out there that can do it, but they require some additional steps and complexities. A2 hosting makes it nice and simple and built in. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, I recently switched to A2 hosting for the speed. And let me just show you this comparison. Let me move that off my screen. We'll start from the beginning. Here, check out this video right here. Watch how fast A2 loads. This is the main reason why I switched. That is on their lowest budget. Uh, that's on their lowest budget shared plan and at three seconds and change here the hostgator that you're seeing the live site on right here this is you know a test site a subdomain uh, with a2 has not has loaded this the hostgator one has not even loaded yet so we play it and then finally about two three seconds later the live site actually loads a2 hosting has been much faster than any other shared hosting I have encountered so uh, I'm a big fan of it at this point and this feature here to set up the staging sites is really awesome and that's what I'm going to show you today so I'm not going to keep chit chatting. Let's pull it up. This is my A2 hosting cPanel right here. To do this, create the staging site. You come into WordPress A2 optimized. Uh, that's the install manager kind of for WordPress installs on A2. And then you come down to the URL that you want to install it on. Now, here it is in a private window. You can see Here's the domain we're going to be working with, FL Screens, a content-based site I have. Uh, and we're going to be setting up a staging site here in this subdomain, migrate.flscreens.com. You could also set it up in a subdirectory like this. Uh, you could also do that. Um, that's not my preferred way of doing it because backup plugins and such will take a backup of everything in there and you just kind of keep getting these inflated backups. I like doing a subdomain, but... The point I want to make right now is that right now, there's nothing in that subdomain. So let's get it on there. Let's get a staging site rolling. Uh, it's going to take me less time to do it than I've spent talking about it. We'll just come down here. We'll find it. There's the option to create staging. The one next to it creates a clone. The only difference I can see between the two of them is that the staging gives you a one-click button to make it live. So let's just create a staging for FL screens here. Uh, then it's going to ask you where you want to set it up. I'm going to use the protocol that we use, HTTPS. I'm going to select my subdomain, which would be migrate.flscreens.com, and then click Create Staging. And then click Create Staging. Uh, it'll run through it. It says three to four minutes, but it doesn't really take three to four minutes, as you'll see. I'm not sure if I'm going to speed this up. No, nah, it's going pretty quick here. Almost there. Bingo. We're done. It's done. So if we pull up my other window, we should be able to hit enter and we should see the full site loading. Bingo. There we go. So full sites loading on this uh, and looking great. It was that easy. Now to set it to live, let's just say, let's just say on this site, we make our changes and we want to set it up to live. Well, then we just come back here to our install manager where I'm at. We'll see migrate.fl screens in there. And then you see this button right next to it right there. And if I mouse over it, it says push to live. That's it. One click of that button will send whatever we've done on that staging site to live. Uh, and that way, if we totally fuck things up on the staging site, well, it's just a staging site and we can delete it without actually impacting our live website. So that's how you set up a staging environment on A2 hosting. It's incredibly easy and it has been, I don't want to say a lifesaver, but a real time saver and a feature that I really like with A2 hosting. On that note, guys, if you guys have any questions or feedback, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, look for my Facebook group, the No Bullshit Marketing Facebook group. I share a lot of insights on digital marketing, WordPress, uh, some of my experiments with several thousand dollars in testing, finding out what I'm doing in direct response marketing. Uh, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you found that helpful. I'm signing off on this one.